Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. I'm Christine. We're Ninth Island Connection. We're a weekly lifestyle television show that airs throughout the entire state of Hawaii, Southern California, Yuma, Arizona, and right here in our hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Ninth Island. Check out the description. You can stream us online wherever you are. We are global. Yeah. Check out the description. Find out how you guys can watch us. So this video, um, we get a lot of questions about coming to Vegas, especially for people first timers coming to Vegas. And typically if you watch our videos, we try to focus on the positive things about Vegas because there's so much. Obviously we do a television show about it, a YouTube channel, we write a, a weekly article about it. And we live here, we love Vegas and there's so many positive things. But not to be Debbie Downers, like any other major tourist destination, there are a lot of people looking to take advantage of tourists that have their guard down. So there are some things that you should really be on the lookout for when you're here on vacation, whether it's your first time or your 10th time. Vegas is always changing and there's always a new scam. There's always something to try to take advantage of you, the visitor. So in this video, instead of looking at us, we're going to show you beautiful highlights of Vegas of why you want to come here. Um, but we do want to give you some tips of how to stay safe and have your best experience here in Vegas. Just some things to look out for and just be aware of to make sure that you are coming here and having the best time. It's not secret that there's a large number of homeless people in Vegas and you'll see this when you're here. Most are harmless, either sleeping or holding signs for money. However, there are some who appear to be struggling with mental health or substance abuse issues. So just be aware of your surroundings, trust your gut, and don't pull your money out. If you feel unsafe, go into a casino, find security, and feel free to donate food. Um, and we have, and in our experience, it's always been appreciated. Now you're in Vegas and you're ready to walk Las Vegas Boulevard. As you're walking, you're gonna notice a ton of people trying to get your attention and your money. You're gonna find showgirls, people dressed as different characters, people even trying to put a bracelet on your wrist or even get, try to give you a CD. Now these folks are part of Vegas and this is how they earn money. If you don't want a photo or what they're selling, all you have to do is politely decline and keep on walking. If you do wanna get a photo, enjoy. It's Vegas, right? but keep in mind that they work for tips and they expect a tip of about 20 bucks on average. I've seen them get pretty upset when people sneak photos or don't tip them what they expect. Inside the properties, you'll notice friendly people asking you if you want your show tickets or if you got your welcome package. Again, these are just people earning a living, but heads up, the welcome gift is a pitch to get you to attend a timeshare presentation. So if you're interested, you can actually get show tickets. But if you're not, just politely decline and keep on moving. Also, make sure to protect your valuables. Keep them close to your body, right on the front, or your purse, your bag strapped across the front of your body. Try not to carry a wallet or a phone in your back pocket. Also, don't just set your phone where somebody can just walk by and grab it, like if you're at a bar or a slot machine. I actually had to confront someone who tried to walk off with my phone. Use the safe in your room and don't carry all of your money on you. Also, double check that your door actually closes and locks when you leave the room and be sure to lock and latch your door at night. Another thing to look out for is traffic. If you're a pedestrian, follow the traffic signals and use crosswalks for your safety. I can't even tell you how many people we've seen almost get hit by cars running across the street where there wasn't a signal or racing across Las Vegas Boulevard to avoid waiting. And if you're renting a car or driving here, heads up, driving in Vegas is like the wild west. You've got a mix of driving styles here, so be defensive and stay alert. Las Vegas is unfortunately a popular location for sex trafficking. So use the buddy system, be aware of your surroundings, and avoid the quiet, less populated areas, and definitely trust your gut. 
There are security guards all over, so report any suspicious or concerning activities or people. Now this is the last thing because we don't want to bum you out before you even get to Vegas. Look out for extra charges. These can be things like fees on your receipt for water that you did not even order, COVID fees, casino rent fees that are being passed on to you, as well as two for one drink specials that aren't really specials. For example, there's a bar that loves to hand out two for one drink slips, but then one of the drinks is $9 for one can of Miller Lite. That doesn't seem like a deal to me. Also, you're going to find club promoters, dance or strip club promoters that make it sound like a really good deal until you're there and stuck with additional fees. You know what? Don't be afraid to ask questions for clarity, though, and enjoy your trip. If you've been to Vegas and you've had some experiences that you want to share, let us know. Comment below, share your kind of crazy experiences that you've learned and want to pass on to other folks. Also, give us a like, subscribe, check out our other videos, check the description. You can watch our television show, Ninth Island Connection, wherever you are. Enjoy your trip.